While power creep is inevitable in that gacha game, it is especially bad for Honkai Star Rail. Not because of the actual difference in power between the units, but because Hoyo does rerun banners. Currently, the only incentive that we have to pull on rerun banners is if we didn't get the character when they first released, or if we like the character for a different reason. Looks, animations, voiceover, and so on. This leaves very little demand for 5 star characters that are not meta. So finally, how could Hoyo fix the power creep and give units a second chance? As I was thinking of a way to do that, I set out some base rules. The process has to involve the character in question in some sort of way, shape, or form. The process has to be accessible to free to play players. The process has to work universally for all current and future units. And this is what I came up with. We will be using Jingyu1 as an example, because many people believe that he was the first good example of a unit being power crept, and because when this video releases, his banner should be available. To begin the process, the player needs to level Jingyu1 to level 80. Afterwards, a special stage in the Forgotten Hall will be unlocked. This stage will have four waves of enemies. Wave 1 will have one elite at level 80. Wave 2 will have one elite at level 80. Wave 3 will have 2 elites at level 85, and Wave 4 will have 2 elites at level 90. There will be no time limit to beat the stage, however the player has to use Jingyu1 in their team. When the player defeats any wave for the first time, they will be awarded a special material that can be used to ascend Jingyu1 past level 80. If you beat Wave 1, you will be able to level him up to 85, and you will unlock an additional trace which will increase the level of his ultimate and basic by 1. Beat Wave 2 and you will be able to ascend him to level 90 and unlock a trace which will advance Lightning Lord by 100% as soon as it reaches 10 stacks. Beat wave 3 and you will be able to ascend him to level 95 and unlock a trace which increases his skill and talent level by 1. Beat wave 4 and you will be able to ascend him to level 100 just to flex. I hope you get the idea I'm going for. Hoyo could easily take this formula, change the enemies and the bonus they get at level 90 to apply this sort of treatment to any character they feel like needs it. And they could even use the same system to give love to some less used 4 stars. I am very curious as to how you feel about a system like this. Be sure to let me know in the comments below. I'll try to get one of those videos out every Friday, but until then, goodbye.